Hey guys, Eric here from Bloke Games again. Just wanted to do a quick little video review. Um, this isn't going to be a very in-depth review. It's more just giving you my feelings on a particular RPG product that's out that's very popular. It's a, it's a retro clone of, of course, uh, original D&D. &D. Um, but it does have some, some, some differences. What I'm going to be talking about today is Lamentations of the Flaming Princess. Now when you say this, this name gets one of two reactions typically in the RPG community. It's either, that game is the game, or, ew, gross, how would you want to play that? Um, so let me tell you what I think about Lamentations, alright? Lamentations kind of gets a bad rap, I believe. F because of the art um, that's associated with it, the art can be uh, pretty hardcore at times. Um, it's recommended to be uh, an 18 plus years old, you know, for mature content. And then, you know, some of the ventures do have, um, they do delve down a dark pathway. But the, the, this book, The Rules and Magic, if art aside, this may be one of the greatest versions of Dungeons and Dragons that's ever existed. A um, couple things to know about this book. First off, uh, it was done by uh, James Raji the um, Fourth. This is the second rendition. Originally, it was done kind of in a box set thing, and then he put this out. This is the current uh, player's guide that's available on the market. The layout in this book, phenomenal, just top notch. Um, like if you take the cover and you flip the cover open, one of the things they did is they put up the price list of all the items and they, and they got the items separated out by market. So it can be like rural or urban. It will have different prices. And then on the back, the back photo, they did the same, which I thought was a great use of stuff. This is all the stuff that you're going to need for if you're being a dungeon master, your quick reference tables, all that stuff. So the layout, very good. All right. <clears throat> a couple other things to note. There's no um, Thaco in this book. So uh, Mr. Raji made the choice. He said, I'm going to go with Ascending Armor class. And not only that, but he raised it a plus one for, over all other games. So if you're playing this and you're mixing in other retro clone stuff, keep that in mind that, that these guys are a little bit harder to hit. <clears throat> Another big difference is beyond first level, at first level, everyone, all players get a plus one to their um, attack bonus. After first level, a fighter gets a plus one every level and no one else goes up. And that that makes, you know, when you get up to a very higher um, level fighter, that, you know, that makes them kind of a super tank. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Aside from that, everything else that was put together in here is a really great version of Dungeons & Dragons. Um, on the ability modifiers, they got the ability modifiers. If you have an 18, it goes up to plus 3. I know not everybody does that, but this one, this one does. Um, but just really good um, thing. Oh, one thing to note is that in, in lieu of having a thief, or a rogue, you get a specialist. So that's the name of of that class. There are great rules in here for um, for like maritime adventures. So if you're running like a pirating game, uh, there's a whole chapter on this. Also, uh, as far as that goes, the retainer section. Um, he goes into great detail about uh, retainers and why they're important and how to use retainers in your games also goes into great detail as far as um, as acquiring land and property and building castles and stuff things like that um, then you get to the back and there is the firearm section that's right this has like muskets and um, different guns, bayonets, pistols, everything that you need to know about old-time firearms will be in here. 
um, and like how they work with armor class and everything like that. So, uh, so if you don't want that in your game, you don't have to use it. I mean, he kind of stuck it back it was be behind the appendix and the glossary, if that lets you know. So he even put down, you know, that this was going to be a optional thing. Some of the spells, uh, the spells in this book, they separate the spells into uh, two categories. So cleric spells are totally separate from magic user spells. There's no crossover, okay? Then some of the spells that they've added in here have a kind of a darker or more macabre um, tone to them. Uh, but again, that's something that you can take out or, you know, if, if you're mixing um, retro clones, you can easily do that and ha use, you know, like a, the standard retro clone. Um, again, I do want to stress that I think this book gets a really bad rap because of the art. Um, now, some of the adventures are hardcore. Uh, if you pick up a Lamentations of the Flame Princess adventure, um, you're you're going to see some stuff. You're in for some spooky stuff. But some of the the actual content in this book, if you took out the art, is just an amazing, amazing retro clone of Dungeons and Dragons. All right, so I do highly recommend picking up uh, this core book. Um, again, I think he did a great job as far as putting it out, uh, putting the, the quality, the layout. All top notch. He ran a the Mr. Reggie ran a fan scene for what I'm uh, aware of for many years um, for like heavy metal bands and stuff. Um, so he knows how to organize and, and do layout and stuff. Um, one thing that this game also stresses too is is like it doesn't come with a, a, a bestiary. There's no bestiary, and the reason for that being is you know he's. Uh, his philosophy or the or the Lamentations gaming philosophy is that monsters should be unique. So you don't just go fight an Uber Hulk. You go fight like uh Ukar the Uber Hulk. Or you don't go fight a Medusa. You fight the Medusa. And you do it one time. There's only one of these evil creatures in the uh in the world for you to run across. So you're not going to be running across the same creature, you know every week or anything like that now for my money personally this right here white box fantastic adventure uh fantastic medieval adventure game by seattle hills games is so far my favorite retro clone lamentations a close second so um you know that's it, i give this book high high price because i absolutely adore this book um this book has became my dungeons and dragons so check it out if you can uh really i mean it's worth picking up now if you if you're into the artwork and you like the the darker uh more um lovecraftian you know horror um type dungeons and dragons with the the weird weird fantasy then pick up the um the adventures for uh, Lamentations, you'll probably really like them. Um, but again, don't be scared away by some artwork. This is a great, great retro clone. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Again, if you like what you saw and heard, please hit like, subscribe. Please tell me below what you think of um, uh, the, the Lamentations. Let me know if, it, if you like it, what you like about it, what you don't, that type thing. Um, in the meantime, hope everyone has a great day and uh, good gaming.